Hey everyone, this is David at Finish Line Factory and I brought the Turbo Miata out to the Drive Florida meetup and... Well, I'm, I'm the only one here. Well, someone here from, from Drive is here, but I'm... I kind of got here a bit, a bit early, so... I guess I gotta wait for everyone else to show up. But anyway, while we're waiting, I guess, uh... I got the Turbo Miata out, I've been tuning it, uh, made some changes recently. Um, I think, I'm not sure if I posted the video yet by now, but I changed the condenser and the uh, cooling fans and the car runs a lot cooler. I actually had to slightly retune the car because it's uh, it's not blowing a bunch of hot air onto the intake anymore when it's idling. It runs a lot better and I've actually been changing a few things on the tune just to you know, make things run better, run, make things run smoother, uh, you know, stuff like that. Hopefully soon I can get to the suspension and the brakes, tires too, and new tires. But let's see, this guy over here, I guess he's from Drive Florida, gray GTI. I love these wheels, I love the wheels that come on this car. I think this is a Mark V? Mark, oh, this is a, I think this is a Mark VI. Yeah, I think the Mark V's wheels are a little sharper. It's pretty cool. Oh, he's been on a bunch of drives. There's an official Drive Florida meetup June 2nd, like a big rally, but, well, the Turbo Miata has a few issues. One is that it has a really, really bad rear main seal leak, and, you know, driving around town, it's okay, because I'm not driving that far, and I can just kind of pull over and top it off. Uh, I need to get that fixed before I go on any major drives like that. All right, some people have shown up. We've got a NC Miata. All right. Okay, so I guess the car I saw at the car show isn't John's car. Let's see. Lightning blue S550. Oh, he's the other. Got uh, two ND Miatas, one red. Actually, are they both? I think they're both, yeah, they're both hardtops. They're both RF Miatas. That's pretty cool. Got a clown shoe. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's an M. No, I think the clown shoe is the coupe. Yeah, it's a Z3 M coupe. This is cool. And an uh, orange Stingray Corvette. Modified Crown Vic. He's even got the spotlight. Yeah. Hey, what's going on here? What's going on? We oh, got a. Wait, I think I've seen your car before. <laughs> Cars and coffee, car meets. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So what's going on here? We got a Turbo 2.0 modified Genesis Coupe, and finished building another 2.0 modified Genesis Coupe as well. All nice, right. Nice to like having both of them out here. So first rally for both cars. See how far these things last. You know. <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? I see this one has a better heat shield. <laughs> Much. Yeah, I don't have a heat shield. <laughs> Trying. Well, it's got it's got kind of it's kind got a green. shield. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's going to protect against heat. The only thing that's helped me right now is because my turbos has the gold on it. That's the only reason why. Yeah, that helps a little bit. It helps a little bit. Um, what you really need this for? Uh, the air that the um, that the radiator fan is blowing. Yeah. You don't want that to blow this way onto the. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm still using the, the factory radiator fan because it's yeah. going straight into the pulleys with the oil coolers. Yeah. So at least it keeps everything nice and cooled as much as possible. They had a piece that actually lays on top of this, so you, every time you drive, it sucks in air through this area, but that becomes obsolete when you change out, say to like a Canon Typhoon air filter setup or airflow dynamics air filter setup yeah it's trying to go off the oem but it's not going to work after i mean you know what this is this should be decent enough as long as you can decently protect it from the air that's coming off the radiator you should be all right oh yeah the, this thing has been through three turbos been rebuilt by myself oh wow you, built, you rebuilt the engine no the engine's still factory still stock motors oh you just upgraded the, turbo. the turbos I replaced the turbo after the air filter destroyed the last one. Oh, geez, what it imploded? It just sucked it in. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Let's check this out. So, oh, damn, you got inner cooler. You got the oil Mishimoto oil cooler. What is that? A twenty-five row? Yeah, it's uh, huge. They're, yeah, they're, and then their universal transmission cooler. Um, pretty much all my cooling is from Mishimoto. Um, okay. Even their cooling, their coolant. Love their stuff. Oh, okay. Can't okay. Beat it. Yeah, most of the stuff is pretty good. What uh, what blow is that? The synapse? Yeah, yeah, it's the synapse blow valve. How do you like that? Probably the best reacting that I've had. Um, I, heard, I heard this is that's basically the best blow valve to have for a Genesis. If you have like a different one, it's gonna have issues. It actually is the best one. Yeah, I used to sell I used to sell a lot of parts for the Genesis on my website dsautosport.com. Really? Yeah, that was a long time ago though. Oh, okay, okay. I I almost exclusively sold parts for the Genesis. 
But I don't have the website anymore. I sold it. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh, they got the metal manifold. This is a BK1, right? Yeah. Yeah, BK1. So you have the metal manifold. There we go. Yeah, the, the BK2, I think, objectively is better, but then it has a plastic manifold. Yeah. So I think what everyone does, and I think the BK1 manifold isn't backwards compatible. It is. Yeah, it is. everything's backwards compatible. Oh, so you can put a BK1 manifold on and yeah, it'll the work just fine? change was the turbo setup and integrating more computer than mechanical. Ah, okay. So you can still swap over stuff from the BK1s to the BK2s with no problem. Yeah, I, I drove a BK1. I was considering buying one, but from the factory, they just drive... Awful. The block is not as um, reinforced like the BK2 zone. Yeah, well, not just that, but the, the factory tune is just awful. Oh, it's yeah. awful. it's yeah. so bad. Yeah. Well, but I can't say as much because once you tune it, good. once you tune it, it's it's good. Well, maybe on the BK2 it's better. It's better because I've raced against Mustangs, um, Jaguar F types, Hondas, BMWs. I spanked the crap out of BMWs on a stock ECU. Oh, I bet. I mean, so. it's just that. Oh gosh, I don't know why Hyundai did this. 200 horsepower, like really? This is 200. It's sad to yeah. say. Yeah. Factory is 200, but yeah, once the you start, too, they kind of bumped it up a more. Yeah, a lot. A 274. Lot yeah. So we'll be going over to the Dew South Brewery in uh, Boynton Beach. I think they've got some food there. Uh, hang out, get some food, get some drinks, and uh, it's gonna be a great time. Um, it'll open up in Google Maps along the route on the digital one. Uh, it has different stops. The stops are only there for you, us to keep that route in play and not give you the quickest route to do South Brewing. So those stops really aren't necessarily stops that we're doing, but we have to put them in there so that the route stays the way we want it. Um, so when you come up to one of the points, the checkpoints on the map, it'll say continue or stop. Uh, you're going to want to hit continue and then start to the next point uh, if you're using that. If not, I have paper maps here. I'm going to start it right here, if you don't mind, just take one, pass it around. So if you want paper maps, they're going around right now. Um, just take one, pass it around. The rally's underway. Let's get things going. Let's start auto tuning. That way I can tune a little bit of V while I'm while I drive. I'm basically doing the rally by myself at this point. I kind of, well, my part of the group, we got left. We got next to a bunch of um, a bunch of cops, and then nobody wanted to exceed the speed limit because nobody wants to get pulled over. You especially don't want to get pulled over on a rally. That, that just looks bad on you, and bad on the rally as well. So the forward group is way ahead of us, and then I guess some of the Miatas that was hanging out with us, like they turned around because like they didn't want to go through the entire route. So. I'm hoping to catch up with uh, a couple of guys and continue the rally. Some of the group. 
being without uh, being completely alone. Because let me tell you, it was uh, it was getting a little lonely here. You know, just just driving by myself. Part of the rally, not you know, just one man, you know, drive. So, hey, right, let's continue the rally then. guys we're almost done with the rally uh, we're getting to Palm Beach now almost to a uh, final stop Oh geez, it's a bit warm in there. Alright, so we made it to the Dew South Brewing Company, so here we go, we're now to the giant warehouse. So, yeah, there's a couple cars here. Alright, so we got a Datsun 240Z, a couple guys that were with us in the rally, got the Cayman, Red Cayman, uh, a couple of Barths, real nice. We got a food truck. Alright, let's head inside, let's check this place out. We got some barrels over there. Oh, this is cool. Thank you. Frankie. Made it. Yep. What a trip, man. Oh, this was fun. This, this was, was awesome. fun. But, uh... Police activity was a little present, but no big deal. Yeah, I mean, so, on 441, so that's like a major road, so, you know, I'm not surprised there were a lot of cops going back and forth. Yeah, not too bad. Still a fun time. This place is pretty cool. I've never been here before, so... Yeah, this is awesome. I had no idea this was all back here. Yeah. Pretty cool spot, though. It is. Yeah. I mean, you think about a brewery, it can be anything, you know? Yeah. It should definitely be an option for the ending spot for DF7. There you that, go. That hasn't been uh, Fully planned out. Yet. There you go. So. That would, this would be cool, you know, finish the rally and come up here and have some beers and food outside from the food truck. We're actually going to be starting, like, across the street at Museum 66. So oh, there you go. be a good start and end. Yeah, so we start at Club 66, rally around Florida, then yeah. come back straight here. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Cool, rock and roll. Hey, it's my buddy Mark. Hey, how's it going? He's brought me, he's brought me beer. So, what's this? This is the... This is the Paradise Pale Ale. This is... Um, yeah. This is the... LWB Lake Worth Beach. Okay. This is our Coastline Lager. And the beer that made the brewery, the Caramel Cream Ale. Caramel Cream Ale, okay. Oh yeah, that's that right there. You know what? I, I really like the coastline. I'll try that one out. I'll go for that one. Awesome. Sweet. All right, so I'm gonna end the night playing Cards Against Humanity with these fine people. Hello, friends. All of you. You all. You all went on the rally, right? Yes. Okay, cool. You guys traveled the entire rally in a Crown Victoria? Yes. yes. Awesome, badass. Well, I'm going to end the vlog here, so thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.